We have team coverage all along the path of totality all day long here on ABC News Live. And let's go over to senior meteorologist Rob Marciano now in Niagara Falls, New York, and ABC News contributor astro astrophysicist Hakeem Alusei in Dallas. Rob, what are conditions like there right now? Well, uh, people are filtering into this park. They open the gates at 6 a.m. This is Niagara Falls State Park. This was opened 100 years ago when they had their last eclipse in 1925. Guess what? Then it was cloudy, too. So we're dealing with clouds right now, but look at that spectacular view of the falls. Is that not amazing or what? We've got about a half a million gallons of water pouring over the, those falls every second. It goes about a half a mile across the crest line there, so it's a great spot to see it. When the, the, the eclipse happens, and if the sky's clear, it's going to happen right there. So we need those clouds to go away. There might even rain a little bit later on uh, this morning, Diane. So we're hoping that little pulse comes through and gets out of here. We get some clearing. So uh, hopefully the weather gods will, will play with us nicely. But regardless of that, they expect at least 50,000 people in this uh, spot. On the other side in Canada, similar numbers. So it's been a huge influx of people here to see this eclipse. Rob, um, I can see the mist coming off the falls behind you. Will that impact the, the view there? Funny you say that. So the, if the sun was out right now, which would be over there, the mist would typically, you'd see a rainbow. You get a rainbow because it's kind of like it's, it's, you know, it's raining. But with the sun on the other side, we'll probably, it shouldn't uh, amount to anything other than it's just going to look really cool, right? <laughs> to have the mist coming up from the falls and then see a sun covered by the moon. That's the money shot. That's what we're hoping to get here. But it just adds to the ambiance and really the spirituality, if you will, of, of this celestial event, Diane. Very cool. Can't wait to see it. And Hakeem, NASA's funding several research initiatives today that build on research from the 2017 eclipse. What are scientists looking to learn this time around? Well, thank you for having me today. We are looking at typically two big problems. One problem is related to space weather, and that has to do with how the ions that stream away from the sun are accelerated by magnetic fields and make their way through interplanetary space, carrying magnetic fields with them, interacting with our technologies in space, interacting with the Earth's magnetic field, potentially under big events, right? It could cause power outages. So we want to have an ability to predict these things before they happen. So a total solar eclipse gives you a rare opportunity to see where the acceleration occurs at low altitudes in the sun's atmosphere. The other element of it is understanding how the hot million degree corona is energized. The surface of the sun is only 5,800 degrees Kelvin, but yet its atmosphere is a million degrees and is maintained that way indefinitely. How is that happening? So the total solar eclipse gives us a view of an area of the sun that we otherwise would not be able to observe. So combined with the satellite data, other ground-based data, we can now have this complete picture of the sun's atmosphere. Rob, I know you were in totality in Lincoln City, Oregon for 2017. What was that like and what are you hoping to see today? We're hoping for a similar action in that, you know, Lincoln City, Oregon, in, in the summertime, it gets a lot of morning clouds, and they had it that day, and we were really worried about not being able to see it, but as the eclipse happened later on in the afternoon, the marine clouds lifted just enough to where we could see the eclipse, and we're hoping that that happens uh, today. And I can tell you after seeing that one, and I saw another one in the deserts of Chile, it is a spiritual event. I mean, I, there's only uh, two other things that have rivaled what the feeling is like and that's being in an eye of a hurricane or seeing the aurora borealis, the northern lights. It's just an amazing thing to see. So this is just a, a you know, celestial event of really awe and wonder and, and joy. I mean, people are coming together for one thing and just to have, to, to watch the, sun, the moon go in front of the sun and to, and to be in awe of that, that event. And uh, that part of it, the community part of it, Diane, I think is really probably the most special stuff. Very cool. Rob, Hakeem, thank you both. Enjoy it. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.